and even before the cinemas. I know th times have changed and all of that, but producers made a lot of money from DVD sales, mm -hmm. you know? And whoever that is in a certain part of the country that won't get access to the cinema during the premiere, mm -hmm. obviously would have to wait for a very long time mm -hmm. until they are commercialized or they come on TV mm -hmm. screens for them to watch it. Mm -hmm. So the only way that they get to see it is via the DVDs. Mm -hmm. I think with time, uh, in the past years, the transition from the VCD to the DVD and the rise of the price, mm -hmm. you know, and the sale of the CDs is what discouraged most of the people to, you know, keep patronizing. Mm -hmm. So I think now if they bring it back and you just have to do your mathematics, you don't produce 500,000 when you know it's only 200,000 that are going to buy. You can mm -hmm. start small mm -hmm. and still make, you know, some profit. Maybe mm -hmm. it won't be a bigger margin as you're thinking it should be. Mm -hmm. But slowly, slowly, when you do it and you start reintroducing it into the market, people will, will buy into it. Mm -hmm. And maybe this time there has to be, you know, some very firm institutions that would govern the sort of movies that should be released. At the time I heard that we had that, you know, where you'd go, you wouldn't just shoot a movie on Wednesday and release it on, on, exactly. on, on exactly. Uh, Thursday. But after that, I was hoping that there would be, you know, a board that would watch the kind of movies that come out. Because if we just put any content out there, we are digging our own grave because eventually people will get tired of the same old stories that they see and these lame stories, no disrespect, that mm -hmm. are always being put out there. It makes us, the actors, look bad. Mm -hmm. So even when they see something good, they just assume that mm, as for Ghana movies, it's always like this and it's always like that. Mm -hmm. So if you can have that, we always just say it. We say it and we share ideas, but in the end, nothing really happens, mm -hmm. you know? But mm -hmm. hopefully this time around, mm -hmm. I hope that by now the test, you know, has, has made us more creative okay. than we should. And we are ready to continue yeah. there. Yeah. All right, so I'm still here with actors Calibos as well as James Gardner, spending time with James Gardner before we move on to Calibos. Now, there is also one thing with our movie industry, especially you guys on the screens. Um, consumers feel you are always stereotyped. So if, say, Calibos is a comedian, yeah. in every movie, he is going to be a comedian. If um, James Gardner is a, is a romantic boy, in yeah. every movie, he's going to play that bad boy. Yeah. If Auntie Paulina <laughs> is a mother, in every movie, she's going to be a mother. Uh, th does it sometimes uh, worry you guys? Uh, it puts you in a box. Okay, um, as, as an artist, it doesn't bring... Okay, versatility is key. Mm -hmm. As an actor, you have to be versatile. But that doesn't change you from continuing doing what you're doing. Vin Diesel has never starred in a romantic movie. He's never done it. All of those things. He has, he's, he does action movies. We've known him as an action figure all this while. And it hasn't changed anything about him. He's one of the, you know, A-list actors, mm -hmm. you understand. But as an actor, you should be able to delve into certain areas that you've never dealt before. When you challenge, mm -hmm. it helps. Mm -hmm. But if you still keep getting the same rules, you don't always have to go and eat garden next to you with the yam. You can eat the same garden next to you with rice. You can mm -hmm. eat it with kinky. Mm -hmm. So you can get the same rules, but your approach to it is what makes it different. But I, all you know, I don't think there's, there's an issue mm -hmm. with that. And, um, because if I look at, say, your, your movies, yes. and I realize that James Gardner is always that... Blaine Lava Boy. Blaine Lava Boy. wives. <laughs> <laughs> now, now uh, in my mind, anytime I see you, yeah, that, that'd be that guy. Uh, it, it, it comes across, like, you don't know to do any other thing again. The downside, the downside with our industry is that, you know, unlike the Hollywood, when you have someone play a lover boy, mm -hmm. in, in a matter of five, six months, you don't see any other works from the person. So you have time to consume and digest that. But in our industry, you film in a month, the next two weeks, you're doing something else and it's just about the same thing. So it's like, there's no space for them to digest it or for it to sort of fade away a bit. That's the only thing. So it sort of looks like we're always giving you watch it, watch it and fish, watch it and fish, watch it and fish. But in Hollywood, when he acts a certain movie that he's playing a lover boy, it won't be up to maybe six or a year, a year's time. By then, other movies must must have come, and mm -hmm. you know it makes it makes it. It, it always makes you look new, mm -hmm. even though you're still playing the same okay. thing. I don't know if you understand what yeah, I mean. I tell you. I tell you. Yeah, that's, now, that's in your acting career, problem. is there something you want to do that you've not done yet? Yes. What is it? I want to go. To <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could get the chance to, you know, get a huge platform mm -hmm. and showcase what I've got. 
you know, mm -hmm. because that's that's what we are all working at. In as much as you need to make sure that you have the home mm -hmm. funds secured, mm -hmm. you need to make sure you win mm -hmm. away matches as well. That's what gets you the titles. Mm -hmm. You understand? So, in as much as but, but have you not done uh, some movies outside Ghana before? I have, but I, I want to go beyond the shores of Africa. I've shot in Sierra Leone, Nigeria, Gambia, mm -hmm. you know, and. Uh, from the look of things, I'm, I'm, I'm hungry, you know, I'm, I want more. Mm -hmm. It's not the numbers you do that determine that you're going to go far or that makes you feel like you're going far. Mm -hmm. Lupita did how many movies? Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. she became a global icon, you mm -hmm. know. So once you get that chance, look at our own brother, Ibrahim Mata. How many did he have to do to feature the mm -hmm. Spider-Man movie? I mean, think about it, mm -hmm. you know. <clears throat> this also goes to show that that's why it's called the creative arts. You don't necessarily even have to go through training to be able to know how to act we all act you act when you're turning a light to someone you're acting because you need to front it you need to act and let the person buy into whatever it is you're saying so i'm just saying that i wish i can get a platform a bigger platform we all go for auditions if you feel like you're too big you don't want to go for audition that's your wala we've gone for audition we've slept on the floor we've rolled left right center trying to look for the. are you still going for auditions in ghana yes in ghana in, ghana, in nigeria yes I see. I, I thought in Ghana, when we're talking about movie faces like he yourself, maybe Talibos, and those other people, you guys don't go for this. Oh, even the Hollywood people will audition. No, no, Smith I know, but I thought it's a different Will story. Ferrell will probably go and they will audition for the same role. They will choose Will over Ferrell, you mm -hmm. know? Like mm -hmm. it's. That's what I'm saying. I think it's the kind of mindset. Mm -hmm. When you call me, depending on the sort of production house it is, you know, and I know that they work with these kind of directors. I can't just go just because it's an audition for auditioning mm -hmm. sake. Mm -hmm. It has to be one that I feel like my brand sits well with mm -hmm. because I've, I've worked for a while. I think now I, I would know when a movie is mediocre and when a movie is, is good. Mm -hmm. It's good to sometimes do do movies with people who are upcoming, but that doesn't mean you should risk your career as well because mm -hmm. once your taste goes sour in, uh, in people's mouths, they don't, they don't chew on you anymore. You mm -hmm. know, you have to make sure that you're still enjoyable. Mm -hmm. So you have to be selective with the kind of scripts that mm -hmm. you do and things like that. Mm -hmm. All right, so I still would want to read some of your tweets at xylophone1021. Uh, send them to me. You can also give me a mention at Summitflex. And let's talk about uh, Calibos. Let's talk about James Gardner. And again, we'll be talking generally about the new Adabraka premiering on 7th December. At, uh, Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone thinks that oh Caliboy they say Sarah yeah. Wade <laughs> Jimmy Caliboy they say Jimmy I know it, it all begins with what you you start acting with okay. uh, my comfort zone and how I started acting had to do with comic acting mm -hmm. yes with the skits I was doing mm -hmm. so that was the mindset of people mm -hmm. Caliboy that's comedy 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 mm -hmm. but then again there's there's more to an actor if you've not pushed that role yet to him mm -hmm. you wouldn't know. Mm -hmm. I recently did a movie, uh, Kobolo. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Of, I, I'm here to see that movie, yes. but people are really talking about it. Nothing of comedy that I played in it. I mean, I had one or two things that came out comedy mm -hmm. itself. Mm -hmm. But I was seriously a, 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 a drama person. Mm -hmm. I mean, a real drama character. Mm -hmm. And I changed a lot of perception during the first premiere in Kumasi. Kumasi. Mm -hmm. People came out and they were in tears. They mm -hmm. shed tears in the cinema. They were mm -hmm. like, ah. You didn't know I can be this emotional and cry and serious. You understand? Mm -hmm. So it all has to do with what you give to the actor to do. Mm -hmm. And if the actor is that good and can, you know, play it's around the roles, you can execute but, uh, it. The, to the director, he mm -hmm. thinks that Calibos did the first movie. It was comedy. He succeeded in it. Mm -hmm. The people love him with comedy. Yes. So if I'm coming to him and I want to succeed, I want to market my movies, what I can do is to let him play the same role that people love him for. Exactly. So I can make my money. Exactly. Uh -huh. that, is, that is how come you guys are likely to suffer that uh, stereotype. I mean, you can still put me in another comedy movie. I'll still execute it perfectly. Mm -hmm. But then again, what I'm saying is with every actor, there's a lot to an actor. Mm -hmm. To be an actor, there's a lot that you can provide. Okay. I mean, put an actor in his or her on comfort zone mm -hmm. and see what the person will do. Mm -hmm. You understand? That's, that's what has to be. Can we also argue that most of our movie storylines are becoming comedic? Well, yes, yes, that's because of the reason of um, um, what the audience wants. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of pressure in the system. If you have to ask anybody, that's what they'll say. Mm -hmm. There's drama at work. 
you go to work and there's a whole drama. Mm -hmm. So you need something to show your 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 brains, your your I mean your thoughts about. Mm -hmm. And the next thing that you can think of is comedy. Mm -hmm. Comedy makes you laugh. It just that was the whole idea of the comedy skits that we did. Mm -hmm. You understand? It's mm -hmm. just for you to have a, a little time to relax your nerves and just laugh and go ahead with mm -hmm. whatever you're doing. Mm -hmm. So comedy to me can never go wrong. Mm -hmm. It's it's always something that we've we've bought into mm -hmm. from from onset with our you know uh who i told you so mm -hmm. to the santos it's, and all there, there's drama in that story mm -hmm. but then again you find comedy in it so every genre and every movie that has drama that thriller you know even crime stuff mm -hmm. when there's comedy in it mm -hmm. it, it relaxes uh the, 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 the tension i mean okay. the, the 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 synopsis of the the, mm -hmm. the whole story okay. some of the scene descriptions for you to also relax and laugh about it and then continue mm -hmm. with the, the whole is, is that not why people like gabby asari are thinking that uh, we are not doing developmental uh, stories because every movie he watches, maybe a uh, Calibos is joking somewhere, another one, a uh, Jacko is joking somewhere, Lewin is joking somewhere, and even if you look around, those who are doing comedy are more popular than those who are doing other genres. Because that's what the people like. Mm -hmm. Most developmental stories you're talking about, I mean, which has to do with historical ones too. Mm -hmm. I recently also starred in one, uh, Confanochi Puma, which was also funded by Xylophone at Fun. Good. It has nothing with comedy. Mm -hmm. But then again, it was telling the story of the indigenous people, backstory that we didn't even know about, Confanochi and stuff that happened. Mm -hmm. Those stories are there. Mm -hmm. And it, 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 it tells what the, 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 the people are all about. Mm -hmm. It How has, they lead their lives. Yes, it mm -hmm. has a particular story in it. But then again, when it has to do with comedy, um, th that's what I'm saying. Comedy is an everyday life story thing that goes on that you have to, you have to just relax yourself with. Mm -hmm. But with the drama part of it, it's, it's, I don't know how to put this. It's, it's, it's always historical, mm -hmm. which doesn't do with everyday story. Okay. It's something that you can watch and mm -hmm. watch over 10 years. But comedy, it changes. It's you can, you can love right? with this comedy story today. Mm -hmm. In some few years to come, another style will come that you can't even associate with. Mm -hmm. But with the historical and the educational movies, it's always something that keeps on recurring. I see. Yeah. Recently, uh, Leila Jensi argued that we are only doing, uh, according to her, when you go to the Oscars, yes, uh, no comedy is winning any award. But in Ghana, that is what we are doing. Unless you have Ghana Oscars, then maybe the comedy <laughs> ones will win. <laughs> I, mean, I, I don't know of what she's saying, though, mm -hmm. but that's what I'm still saying. Comedy is comedy. Okay. There's a reason why the Oscars, they don't have the comedy gen in it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you have any reason why <laughs> there's no comedy, you know, movie in Oscars. Mm -hmm. No, they, they, they might even have the, like a category for it. But they what, what she means is that the movies that are winning awards mostly are not the comical genres. Mm. That is what he, she is talking about. Funny enough, people don't see comedy movie as any uh, serious movie. any serious movie, a movie to play any role in the society. But believe you me, it's healing people. You have no idea what comedy movie does to people. Mm -hmm. Your everyday life. Mm -hmm. I said it earlier. The pressure in the system. You have no idea. Mm -hmm. People just sit to laugh at something, mm -hmm. just to. They they don't they don't care about the the, the awards. Most directors who do comedy, they mm -hmm. do it for the love of it. Mm -hmm. Trust me. If they to know uh, there's an award for best comedy, they don't think about that. They do it for the love of it mm -hmm. to heal people, to mm -hmm. heal the society, to to let people live. Mm -hmm. And that's what I believe in comedy. Okay. Now let's talk about Calibos doing music, Calibos doing movies. Um, are you spending more time doing music? <laughs> I don't do music. Uh, we, we've I love, I love song. music. We, we've I'm, listened to your song. A song music. that you were featured on. Yeah, yeah. Rap and night Oh, no, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, rap <laughs> Funny enough, you don't know. James also does me. I, I, I know he, <laughs> yes. is, he is a good dancer. Ooh, that's that, that, an idea. That's an idea. But he loves music. I mean, every every art, art in itself, eh? Mm -hmm. It's it's funny. Mm -hmm. That's why you mostly find actors mm -hmm. also doing music. Because mm -hmm. yeah, before you realize, you you unveil another part of you that has to do with music that you don't know. Mm -hmm. I've been in love of music, like from SS time. Mm -hmm. You understand? I've been rapping, doing battle in school. Oh, really? The, oh, yes. Calibur started as a rapper. 
and you uh, are doing that. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I've been doing rap music and all that way back in school. Mm -hmm. So movies, set in, you yeah. understand. So there's always this attachment of music to every, uh, how do you call it? Mm -hmm. You know, Majid also raps. Maj Majid? Yes. I have not seen it. Voice and I'll be here, you crazy. I'll be here, you crazy. He's a good rapper. You understand? So it has to do with the craft. It has to do with the love of the you know, mm -hmm. the whole act. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So when you travel outside, you sometimes stage some musical performances when you go oh, for your tours. No. You, you don't use that. I can't have any idea. Oh my goodness. I think I can't have any idea. Actors are not under any obligation at all to promote the movies that they have featured in to be premiered. It is the work of the producer or the director to uh, promote their movies to go make their money. I want to know the opinions of you too. I'm starting with James Gardner. Uh, do you think it is the uh, prerogative of actors to decide to maybe um, promote a movie premiere? For instance, New Adabraka, and you are here to promote the movie in an interview. You have to go another place, you have to go to another place. Some people feel that, no, it is not my duty. My duty is to act, I'm done with you. Go and do your own promotion and make your money. No, as an actor, as do you actor, think you yeah. are under any obligation to do this? Yes, you are. It's just that you have to make sure that you structure it out well with the producer mm -hmm. or whoever that's spearheading the whole campaign mm -hmm. so that you do interviews or you do it in the times that you're most comfortable with. Mm -hmm. You can't help them cut a piece of log and then leave, leave one person alone to carry the log to wherever you're going to bring mm -hmm. it. You know, I, I think it, it goes hand in hand. You're helping yourself, you're helping them because you, you're pushing your brand. When you go on the radio, you don't even only talk about that. You talk about other things. And it's also a way of touching base with, with, with listeners, you know, out there. But you're still in the system. You get me? If you're always silent, you're just working, you have nothing to show for it. There's no premium. You don't come on TV to talk about it. You don't come on radio to talk about it. You're not selling. You know, there has to be something you sell. That, that means you're just, being, you're just there. So I think as an actor, as an artist, just the same way a musician will come and promote his music, mm -hmm. that is how you promote your works. They, they shouldn't necessarily only be on IG. Mm -hmm. It has to be, you know, like this. It has to be um, interactional, you know, mm -hmm. with, with someone, with, for the people to listen to you. So, yeah, maybe um, the schedule might probably be too tight, but any actor or artist who says that he's not obliged to take part in the... Unless, unless the contract said that, Maybe there's a different contract for you just acting, mm -hmm. and then there's one that has to do with you being paid for you to do promotion. To do promotion. It mm -hmm. depends on how you go in, into the contract. But so, so imagine you did not sign any contract to do yeah. promotion. Uh, you only signed a contract to act, but then the movie is out. We need yeah. to market it. We need to you, do you, you are, You're obliged. Mm -hmm. You're obliged because it's, it's part of the reason why you were paid, not necessarily just using the movie for movie's sake. Mm -hmm. You were used in there so you helped the movie sell. And... Mm -hmm. Now, especially when the CD sales, you know, have dwindled, mm -hmm. the, the, what producers make money from is from premiere. So if you don't help in promoting it, then why, why were you in there in the first place? I see. Moving on to Calibos once again. Mm -hmm. If a movie comes out and you featured prominently in the movie and you are not mm -hmm. on the poster, do you get hit? Oh, not at all. Mm -hmm. Not at all. With every movie... Uh, with the scene description, I mean, the synopsis, everything about the movie, mm -hmm. there's always the main character, mm -hmm. you know, there are the sub-characters, there are the extras, mm -hmm. and all that. Mm -hmm. If the story talks about the main character in the movie, of mm -hmm. course, I mean, the story is centered around you, so you're supposed to be on the poster. Mm -hmm. If it talks about an extra in the movie, mm -hmm. you might find the extra on the poster. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't really do with the poster. It has to do with the movie, if you have to ask me. Mm. I mean, but I, I hear here in Ghana, most of the A-list actors, people at your level, when you feature well, them in a movie and you come up with a poster and they don't find themselves on the poster, they get angry. Some of them even refuse to promote it because they did not put them on the poster. Well, I think it's the mentality of them. But what if the movie doesn't entail any picture on the poster? Mm -hmm. The other movies, it's just the name written on it. And also, Bekwa Wakwana. I mean, it, it doesn't really. I feel it's it's it, it shouldn't be a problem mm -hmm. if you have to ask me okay. uh, that your picture your picture is not in the poster, so you shouldn't promote the movie. And I want to just chip in real quick with what you asked James Gow about, Gowan, uh, about promoting a movie. Mm -hmm. You know, Sami, there's 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 very two ways of 
a movie and it's promoting mm -hmm. paying an artist paying an actor mm -hmm. this a amount to do a movie for me doesn't necessarily entail the actor to be part of its promotion you understand i've paid you this amount do this movie the reason why you paid the actor was to act in the movie not to promote mm -hmm. promotion in itself it's a whole different thing when it has to do with movie mm -hmm. there's business in promotion like it's a whole different thing mm -hmm. but then again they need to survive mm -hmm. i've paid you this amount to do this movie for me mm -hmm. okay it's your image mm -hmm. you the actor you are entitled to promote the movie to sell your image in two dreams say you won't promote the movie because the NGL has been promoted yeah. mm -hmm. it goes against you too mm -hmm. but all the say you didn't pay me to promote the movie mm -hmm. and willingly i want to do it to push the movie so you can also make your, your sales and get your money mm -hmm. there's something called appreciation mm -hmm. the person it be our friend say me promoting the movie and i had the production to go on mm -hmm. i had to just put a stop on that promo uh, production and come and promote your movie mm -hmm. that's money also going bad there so there's always an appreciation which most of the producers don't know how to you can't expect me to come from kumasi and accra to kumasi to come and help you promote your movie what you say my year you know no appreciation no thank you and it's happened to me several times so i mean a lot of time i had to even drive for my car you really cry you many myself for one back which if i had a movie to do here i will go i want to go I'm not asking you to pay me for it unless maybe the contract state that okay uh, acting I'll pay this amount promotion I'll pay this amount then you are obliged to do that side check gang you see all the premieres they go to other regions we've not asked what really entails in that contract there's a clause there they need to be there because um, I will always use mine as an example. Kubolo, we premiered in Sunyane. Mm -hmm. And uh, Ajay Anan had to premiere another movie there the following week. Okay. But then again... The movie you were featured in? The Kubolo? No. No, the, uh, the, no, 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 I wasn't. Mm -hmm. But they were coming there. Okay. But the, the same week I no more premiere Ajay Te Diena. Mm -hmm. He had another movie to premiere in Tamale. Okay. Anzani. Anzani. He had to go to Anzani soon. But I couldn't come to Kofi Chase one. That's the <laughs> beautiful <laughs> mind. Okay. All because they, they gave him something to come. Yeah. What did I say? Yeah, they are preparing it. But with the Sunyani one, they were saying the audio woman in the brand. Right. So I mean, if you have to, you know, Wait. weigh these two, it yeah. only makes sense. Yeah, time is money. Yes. <laughs> so to me, it all has to do with the negotiation. Mm -hmm. I mean, BBI a casa. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have a problem if you pay me or not because mm -hmm. I'm doing it for the fact that it's selling your movie. Mm -hmm. Of course, you've paid me, you've put in money, you have to make your money. Mm -hmm. And one way to it, selling my image. Kumasi, Kubola, Ekoya, I went there to help promote it. Marketing, mm -hmm. and since I was there, people were seeing me. Someone was seeing me, ah, I know how bad you are, I'll be bad me, but I'm a time, no at all. I'm a way, no at all. All because of the love of it, I had to do to push the movie so people will come. So, were you appreciated for that one? Uh, <laughs> I have to do for people to come. <laughs> were you appreciated for that one, Calibos? Uh, yeah, 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 so, uh, yeah. <laughs> for the love of it, <laughs> you understand? No, I, I, I feel you were not appreciated. Uh, we won't be bisa. Uh, <laughs> I won't be bisa. Which uh, the people which I had to let them know, mm -hmm. I told them. Okay, they understand. You, you complain to some people that you were not appreciated. not complaining, but okay. I had to let them know. Just you no no, not in the course of it. You okay. really am trying that this is the reason why you might ask an actor to come and help promote a umba. Um, we will be video a cry, come in back. But we will be cry, a cry, no cry. Still, we just want to buy to help promote it. So if this thing doesn't go on well, your next one, do you think I'll leave and come back? Profound. Thank you so much, Calibos. Now, there is also one thing I want to know. Maybe I'll start with um, James before. And then, is it also my duty to also promote your nomination to also win? Yeah, I mean, I think just like I'm saying, everyone has a different stand on, on this. When, when I say that I'm obliged to promote a movie, I, I don't necessarily mean that I expect to come and then dedicate my time and just drive around and move mm -hmm. here, move here, not get appreciated for it. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. Before I would do that, I would know that that's a spot. It's like, it's a, how do you call it? 
reasonable ripple effect. When this happens, that has yes, to happen. Yes, yes, yes that's right. Yes, it's a ricochet. Yeah. When, when I, when if I say I'm obliged to do it, I expect that your appreciation should yes. also come. That's yeah. that's what I mean. I don't just mean putting everything aside and driving around in empty tanks and trying to mm -hmm. promote other things. When you're doing that, you're rather making it better for the producer more than for yourself. Because after you pay, more or less, every any other money that comes goes into his pockets, mm -hmm. you know. But with this one, with the question that, that you just asked, any award, even if it goes to the makeup artist, I feel like it's it's a team win, mm -hmm. you know. Because uh, if, if the job wasn't done properly as a productive unit, there's no way anyone will start a chance of winning anything. So yes, I feel like they are also obliged to also promote you when you're up for nomination or whatever. Because when I win, it's good for the director. When I win, it's good for the movie as a whole. Because when they are, they are naming or writing accolades underneath the artwork for the movie, you know, when they're promoting it, they have that. You have maybe best winner, best actor, mm -hmm. winner, supporting role. Mm -hmm. And it gives the movie, you know, more reverence. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, I feel like they are equally obliged. All right, thank you so much, uh, James Gardner. Mm -hmm. If you were bluffing or you were running your mouth, they would come back and criticize the movie. Mm -hmm. I read the story and I fell in love with it because you can relate to the story. It's not something that you... How do I say it? it's not it's not so much of a fictional story, even though you know there are bits of it there. It's a storytelling that has to do with our everyday lives and what's happening now, you know, in the system, mm -hmm. especially with the young ones who want to take shortcuts mm -hmm. to success. You know, it's like it tells a story. You know how Africans we always like to do our things. It always has to be a lesson at the end of the day. And I think there's, there's we have huge loads of lessons in this particular movie. Mm -hmm. The kind of things you have to. Uh, um, digest in when you're making certain decisions you don't have to make you know hasty decisions you have to make sure that you follow the course there, mm -hmm. there are no shortcuts in life you know mm -hmm. when you decide to take shortcuts obviously you you crash you mm -hmm. end up coming coming across a ditch and mm -hmm. it will even make things more complicated than mm -hmm. it, it would have been if you had just taken the usual course so i mm -hmm. feel like this is something that's young and old alike would would pick a lot of things from mm -hmm. and i love my character i think the director did a fantastic job mm -hmm. the rest of the, the cast made it very comfortable because when you're acting and you don't get that chemistry with your other colleagues you see it's like uh it's like a one-sided kind of thing you feel mm -hmm. like the ship is sinking on one side and it's mm -hmm. up on the other side so <laughs> <laughs> the chemistry was there it's, okay. it's amazing i i love and i love the setting you know we used proper setting for it you know when you have to always try and devise that we had to just go we shot it in adabraka mm -hmm. you know that's so the one. movie is the new adabraka and you yes. guys really shot it in adabraka we shot it in adabraka mm -hmm. you know the kind of life we're not telling the story with adabraka as a setting that this is what happens only in adabraka it's like it's a net we're throwing a net mm -hmm. that not only in adabraka does this happen mm -hmm. but from us from that's that's the angle we are taking it from mm -hmm. you know it happens here it happens in swedro mm -hmm. it happens in wherever mm -hmm. where in kaswa you know mm -hmm. now it's like the order of the day mm -hmm. the, 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 the young ones are getting lazier by the minute yeah. they always just want to sleep cross their legs get up uh, are you, the sure this you still need to work hard to win <laughs> <laughs> no but i mean the money doesn't come as as easy if you're using the right channels mm -hmm. even if it does come easy mm -hmm. you realize that it's money that you had to take your time to earn you don't just blow it mm -hmm. but if it's money that just came poof just like that mm -hmm. you don't think twice when you see this you buy it. when you see that you buy it. Mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. that's that's the kind of life that everyone the fast life is mm -hmm. what everyone wants now mm -hmm. no one really wants to take a long time you know to read and invest mm -hmm. before eventually mm -hmm. whatever it is that you've been doing you're finally going to benefit and even if when you do benefit you have responsibilities mm -hmm. when the money is coming easy mm -hmm. you actually don't you know it's like <laughs> are we still talking sakawa yes, yes we are yes we are Wait, but I, it's still happening Yes, of course it's still happening. I think Sakawa actually, from my understanding, has to do with when they used to buy these shoes and t-shirts and belts and clothes and stuff like that. That was when the term Sakawa came from, in time before. But now, it's, it's moved to an advanced, you know, uh, system where we call it Mugu. 
That is when you bring clients in, you chat with clients, mm -hmm. talk to them and lure them in and make them believe that you are not, you are selling them to, you know, someone, you, you, they have these fake accounts, mm -hmm. you see this very black chiseled man, 